Hey guys, welcome back, and... Uh, I'm waiting for the station. Oh yeah, we're going to Grelia Fortress now, aren't we? Castle for a second there. Wait, right, it's gone again. <laughs> well, the forest is quite dense around here. And still, we saw a lot of weird things in that castle. There was one thing after another from the moment we walked through the door. Um, what are you looking at me for? Never mind. That was pretty great. Jerry's so much funnier feel own feels than his. I just wish it was a little longer. Those two days went by so quickly. But feels today isn't over. We're on our way to the next location, so don't relax yet. Looks like I must say farewell to Le Grand for once again, for a time being. I wasn't expecting to, but I can't help but feel a little homesick already. I can understand why. But it was a welcoming place. I didn't ever get the sense of social classes or keeping people apart. True. It seems like a place that new nobles could learn much from. I'd definitely like to visit again in the future. It'd be great to bring fear me others next time too. You're all more than welcome in Legra many time. I can only hope I'll continue to learn and grow between now and when we next return. Up to Berahard, and almost up towards York Ford. Through the Grand Granary. <coughs> Alright, let's go over our schedule again. We're currently on route to Keldic, where we will rendezvous with Group B. From there, we'll take the Transcontinental Railway we'll to Gorelia Fortress on the Empire's eastern border. Gorelia Fortress is one of the Imperial's largest strongholds. Sometimes referred to as a war that protects the nation from the threat of a Calvard Republic. I've heard it's ludicrously gigantic, almost like an icon of military excess. It also houses two railway guns and a military exercise ground on the premises. Were those weapons at Gwyn said he'd regret it constructing? Yeah. Those two massive orbital cannons pointed towards Calvard. Or more specifically, they're aimed at the buffer zone between us and them on the crossbow state. They are pretty crazy, yeah. Like you're looking at a mountain of iron, I was pretty overwhelmed when I first saw them. Wait, you actually seen with guns? Yeah, Gramps took Claire, Lecter and me to see this one time. These are the mightiest weapons bought, bought by the hands of man since the Great Collapse. I want you to consider what it means that such weapons have been placed here. Oh, son of that, anyway. To consider what it means? He has a flair for a dramatic argument, but... Come to think of it, today's a day, isn't it? The day where the Chancellor is scheduled to depart from Crossbell, Prince Oliver. Guess the trade conference kind of snuck up on us, eh? I think that's where Lecter's going, too. Oh, I want to go to Crossbell. There's supposed to be this really famous theatre group there. It'd be a huge theme park, right? That's what I've heard, although you probably want to know more about it than I do. Apparently, President Toe is going to part with Entourage to further our studies. Really? So we failed to impress. Here she's getting a different job offer, so a bunch of different companies are ready to hire her. Well, she does merit the high esteem of people to lavish on her. She's a pride in the academy. Agador uh Toa Senpai. Toa Chan Senpai. All passengers disembarking here in Keldic, please exit the platform via the bridge. I repeat, do not approach the rope barriers on platform 1. Passengers wishing to travel on the transcontinental railroad, please wait on platform 2. Oh, 
What's going on here? All this security so it feels kind of ominous. Seems the railway military police is guarding the opposite platform. Yeah, I wonder if... <laughs> well, isn't this quite the coincidence? Captain Claire! <laughs> it's Claire! Did you come to see me? Just a coincidence, I'm afraid. Eisengraf will be passing through here soon, so this station's operating under heightened security. Oh, right! Still, I'm happy to see you again. It's been, what, two months since I last saw you? <laughs> she really is attached to Captain Claire. Yeah, almost like sisters. Hard to believe both of them are iron bloods. <sighs> At any rate, good day everyone. Let me thank you again for all your help during the recent crisis in Heimdall. Ah, don't worry about it. We simply did our duties as citizens of the Empire. More importantly, what's the meaning of this extra security? What is this Isengraf you mentioned? As an iron count, right? You'll see what I mean soon enough. A special express train will momentarily be passing by Platform 1. The train will passing through at high speed, so travellers on the platform are advised to, to exercise caution. A special express train? It could be. Ah, right on time. Tower! There's Tower, and there's Prince Oliver. Blood and Iron Chancellor spotted me as well. So that was the Isengraf. Come to think of it, I've heard rumours of a special crimson train. It's supposed to be reserved for use by members of the Imperial Government. I've been on it before, it's really fast. Pretty fancy inside too. The Isengraf, or Iron County for common parlance was so titled in honour of Chancellor Osborne himself. I do hear him call the Blood and Iron Chancellor all the time, so I can understand the Iron part. Isn't the Chancellor coming, coming up by birth? He is, indeed. However, he was granted a title of Count by His Majesty, which was made Chancellor 11 years ago. Supposedly, that's what led to a train being given its name shortly thereafter. I see. I doubt here of all people sees any worth in titled titles or peerages. Green? Yeah? I think bothering you, your attention seems elsewhere. Still feeling tired after yesterday? No, not really. It's time to catch a glance of Toa and Prince Oliver on the train as it passed by. Wow, I'm surprised you can even make them out. It must have a hawk's eye to be able to see them that quickly when the eyes and graphs were both so quickly. That's probably just a coincidence. More than just a glance though. I can see more clearly in detail. What was that just now? Well, as long as you're not feeling unwell. Emma knows what's going on. We'd like to thank all passengers of cooperation today today's security measures. Transcontinental Railway Service bound for Crossbell State, now arriving on Platform 2. Here it comes. Ah, there we are. Green, over here! Come on, we haven't got all day. We saved you some seats. Well, if you excuse us, Captain. See you later, Claire. Of course, have a safe trip, everyone. Whoa, 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 is that classy looking babe? Oh, I should have stayed on the train.
We received word from Squad 8. No unusual movements have been detected near the Twin Dragons Bridge. We also received word from Squad 21. We will report high speed armoured cars are in position. Understood. Remain vigilant until the eyes and graph has finished passing through. Once it reaches Crossbow City, have school squads switch to place phase D. Mom, should we Imperial Liberation Front will show themselves? They will, I'm certain of it. Of course they will. A bait like that. Hi, we're here again. I see, it sounds like Group A had quite an eventful couple of days as well. Yeah, I'm finding kind of hard to believe it. You're going to see me ghost of Leanne Sandlot. That's ridiculous. Are you sure you weren't hallucinating or something? Oh, you can think whatever you like. We totally saw, I swear. Well, ghost or not, there was definitely something there besides us. Anyway, that's enough ghosts and spirits for the time being. I'm more concerned about the affairs of a living, like where Tovel and the Radiant Blade Master went. Sounds like Duke Cayenne is up to something. Is that up to someone we can afford to take lightly? We don't want to do anything like that in the GI specialty economic zone. Well, I guess that makes sense, thinking it's under a direct control of Imperial Government and on a noble. I seem to recall it was annexed eight years ago, is that correct? Yeah, the Empire stitched it on nice and neat, without much opposition. Now it's prospering like a special economic zone on the coast. Seems like a pretty lively place. And the revenue generated from taxes, there goes directly to Imperial Government's coffers. So a pockets on nobility, it was hardly a mystery why we were poor mysteries so highly of it. But that aside, you are concerned about the upcoming trade conference. Same goes for the Imperial Liberation Front. We're been awfully quiet since I showed up on last month. Now you mention it. That does seem rather suspicious. Is that somehow related to why we're going to Grelia? Well, it's not like the main reason, but it's not entirely unrelated. I'll let you look forward to finding out for all yourself when we get to a fortress. Anyway, how many of you have passed through Grelia Fortress by train before? I see. Just us, Anna. I can't wait to see how everyone's first reactions. True. Why is that? Well, I've seen it in photographs at least. A camera can't really capture how ridiculous it is. Yep, yep, it's supposed to be a macho gateway to the Empire, but it just seems like it's trying way too hard. What's that supposed to mean? The gateway to the Empire and one of the largest military bases in the country? Look forward to a chance to get in person, then. The train carrying Class 7 continues wide along the transcontinental line, heading towards the east. They passed through a Twin Dragons Bridge, a Crozen Province army base, and several stations later, it was finally time to pass through Guerrilla Fortress, which seemed large on the border of a crossbow state. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. Next stop is Guerrilla Fortress, Guerrilla Fortress. The train will stop for five minutes. Please aware, only authorised personnel may disembark at this station. Be advised that all orbital photography is strictly prohibited from the fortress and is punishable by Imperial law. Any attempt at unauthorised recording may result in the confiscation of your equipment or detention by the authorities. Well, that was kind of... It sounded pretty severe for a train announcement. Well, we are passing through a military facility. I didn't think we were being unreasonable. Do you really think that's the issue here? I'm not sure how being one of the first... Things from our visitors here gives a very good impression of the country. Oh, we're finally here. What an how does his name is that? Decent board of Grelia Fortress, that's what. Hmm. 
This cave is just... This is Corellia Fortress? The entire place is built just for iron and concrete. Just how much money has the army dumped into building all of this? Yep, I was about as entertaining as I'd hoped. Now that I'm surprised, I thought the same thing when I first saw it. From a crossbow side, you can, all you can see is a cliff, though. Yeah, we're mostly where we're going to still poking through it. Hey, Instructor, what did you bring us out here to show us? What else? We're here so you can see the true essence of what makes an army. What comprises a military strength and forms its foundation. What do we place in the Empire is added to display as clearly as in here. Interesting women all forced to leave a train. Who are they? Engineers and tradesmen, mostly. You'll see a lot of them around here. Keeping a fortress this size up and running is a full time job for more than just military people. It's almost like its own town here. Zero side of its fortress is more or less straight shot to crossbow, right? Things are just busting centre of trade so close to a massive military facility. Yeah, Crossbow City is only about 30 minutes away by train. On top of Fortress, you can even see the skyscraper where the trade combat is going to take place. I see you've arrived. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey, Instructor Nightheart. Good morning, Instru uh, Major Nightheart. Instructor Ballastine of Thor's Military Academy, homeroom teacher for Class 7, reporting the arrival of myself and all students in my care. Acknowledging your arrival at 11.30 hours. Welcome to Gorelia Fortress. In addition to my teaching duties at the Academy, I hold the rank of Major in the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. I'll be acting as your guide, as well as your instructor for special lectures during your time here at the Fortress. Now, if you'll follow me... Very um, military looking area. Including today, I have two days remaining in this month's field today. I will be assigning you any task during that time. Said so you'll be participating in a series of special lectures and field trip. A field trip here? What exactly does that entail? At 14 hours a day, we joining military exercise taking place at Guerrilla's Proving Ground. Four of the Farmer Divisions will both be participating, and you will be observing it. We're going to watch a military exercise? The Four Farmer Division, huh? A Four Farmer Division led by none other than Elliot's dad, Lieutenant General Olaf Craig. By all accounts, it's one of the strongest armored divisions in the Imperial Army. Did you know our friend the Major here is the most promising young member? It's true. Moving on. As I said, you'll not only be observing this exercise, but not actually participating. I imagine there's some of you feeling rather relieved, doesn't it? That sounds like a pretty easy assignment, after all. But we'll see how many of you feel the same after experiencing it for yourself. That's all from me. It's currently 11.50. Lunch has been prepared for you in mess hall. While you eat, a field really isn't something to be undertaken on an empty stomach. So, this food. You have salty corn beef, and I think I'm getting a hint of pea from this soup. You could use this bread as a lethal projectile. <laughs> I do think it would have hurt if we used a few more herbs or flavours in general. Calling this edible would be generous. I've heard plenty of rumours about the food they serve in the army, but I wouldn't have guessed it all be true. I don't think the food they served in the mess hall at Xander Gate was all that bad, though. 
I don't think would kill him to serve something a little more appetising. It's the exact same thing I served when I came in with my class last year. Probably from the same batch too, by the looks of it. Really brings back memories. Pretty surprised the first time my dad bought me to eat here, though. You guys really think this is that bad? Really brings up memories for me too. This is some cheese and an apple. Food served in the army makes use of common ingredients that are easy to preserve and store. Ingredients used to make all the food and all the trays can easily be stockpiled in large quantities. So even if a war were to break out, a meal like this could be served without any trouble. Ah, so that explains it. I see. So the army serves simple foods all the time to avoid decreasing the morale during wartime rationing? Well, not all the time. However, one thing I can think of is food is a philosophical statement for the continent's strongest army. Since it also suggests soldiers must live and work each day as though a war effort depends on them. There's a bit too much mind over matter idealism for my tastes, but it's worth being aware of. To a different perspective and mix here, the food of eventual army serve is actually pretty good. Good enough you can't help but wonder how I'd cope with an actual war were to break out. Huh. It's not necessarily good food for me to eat a crappy army. I hear our neighbour LeBelle says some pretty tasty food in the army. LeBelle's army is fairly elite. Probably well, because of a threat of being neighbours to the Empire it keeps it all tense. You look conflicted hearing you say that. Mommy's things are finding good balance, variety is the spice of life, you know. You eat nothing but dull bland food all the time. Well, you know what I'll say, you are what you eat. I could do a few of your pity remarks in my diet, Instructor Valenstine. That's Valenstine's day. Anyway, as you heard, there's going to be a military exercise we're proving ground at 2 in the afternoon today. It's 12.30 right now, so you have about an hour to do whatever you want. Make an announcement in half an hour before, make sure you listen to it, and do whatever it tells you. Can you say whatever you like? Does that mean a tour of a fortress? Of course, you're welcome to roam around as long as you don't poke your nose into any restricted areas. So go ahead and explore, there's plenty of work to see here. Actually, before I shop or rest or anything like that, I'm going to save a game. Join me next time when I do more exploration. Until then, bye bye.